been really interested in understanding why things work and why things work the way they do. I'm interested in going through the process of discovery, asking questions and getting answers. But the thing that really drives me at the end of the day is watching our patients respond. And all the things that we think might work sometimes don't work. And things that we never thought would work sometimes surprise us. I direct the treatment research program at the University of Maryland. We're studying people who have schizophrenia. I feel like we have a long way to go on treatment. A lot of research today is focused on understanding the illness, understanding the biological underpinnings, which is incredibly important. But at the same time, we have very little work overall that's moving this understanding into clinical trials. We're in the trenches of studying new medications and treatment strategies that may not have been tried before. Well, one of the lines of work we're doing is looking at people who have immune reactions to a protein called gluten, which is found in wheat and other foods. We've performed some initial clinical trials and have shown that those people treated with a gluten-free diet, particularly those ones with high antibody levels, have a very good response in their symptom domains. We can't treat everybody the same. There's likely different underlying mechanisms and pathophysiology to why people develop schizophrenia. So if we can hone in to look at biomarkers and we can understand certain subgroups of people, then we can target treatments, personalize treatments, and hopefully get people on the right track to recovery. I'm incredibly honored and humbled to have won the MALT Prize. This is a truly an amazing opportunity for us. Having this recognition that the clinical trial work and that the focus work we're doing matters. We can make all the discoveries that we want and that's all incredibly important, but unless we try them out in a clinical trial design, we're never gonna be able to get it to our patients that are in need.